Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger. We're here on Mount Well, so let's just continue right where we left off. Looks like we've still got a bit of walking to do. Got a time hat. Okay, so we'll check right after we get this, which is a high ether. Okay, let's go ahead and see what that does. Prevents stop and slow. Okay, that's something we're going to want on Robo. Since he does a lot of the healing, we definitely don't want him to get stopped or slowed here. The screen is going a little darker. It's a giant crystal. We have found where the Guru of Life is imprisoned. It fades away before our eyes. What are we fighting? Ooh, that is a big guy. Okay, so guys, the strategy for this fight, because I already failed it quite a few times. So, he has two arms and a body. If both of his arms are up, he's going to be doing this double attack like you see on screen right now. And it does about like 250 to 300 damage, which is really, really bad. So the strat I'm going to go for here is to always get rid of one arm, and then I'm going to get rid of his, specifically his left arm, because his right arm is his defensive arm, and the only thing he basically does with that is heal his head for 250. And with Robo, with the Rapid Fist, I can basically do like 750, so it's only a third of one attack. So, what I want to be doing here is getting rid of that left arm as soon as possible, and I can do that with only basically three hits. One from Chrono, one from Robo, one from Frog. So, as long as I get three consecutive hits into that left arm, now all of a sudden he can't do his most powerful attack, his right arm won't be crazy powerful, and then I can just go straight for the head here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan here. Sometimes I will take out that right arm just because um, it does, you know, it opens up his body. But I think the better strat here would honestly be to just go straight for the head in the middle. I think this guy has, I forgot how many thousand HP, but I think maybe around 9,000. So, um... He does have quite a bit of HP, but if you really think about it, Robo's attack itself already does a 700 out here about a C here, so I I don't have to hit too many of those, maybe like, you know, 11 or 12, but that's honestly really about it. Um, yeah, let's see. We're gonna have to try to get this arm down as quick as possible. Frog is definitely the weak link so far, because Robo can do like 800 at most, Chrono can do, you know, a, about the same, but a lot less, so, you know, about three, 400. But Robo is basically doing 200, so, um, yeah, definitely, Frog is the weakest one at the moment. Um, but he is kind of useful because he does have water damage. You know, I can't use that in this fight, but, you know, in general, he has water damage. And he does have a cure, right? So... Even later in the game, we're going to get Cure 2. That'll do quite a bit of healing. The only problem is it only does a single person. And 99% of the time, if I'm low HP, it's probably because of a lot of AoE attacks. At that point, I would need something more like uh, Robo's, you know, because Robo can do all ally healing. Um, but you can see here, that's exactly what I was saying at the beginning of the fight. I'm just going to leave that one right fist open because it can't really do much other than heal just a tiny, tiny bit. And that won't really cause me an issue in the long run. Um, and this also shortens the commensation of him uh, regenerating his arms. So if I defeated both, the arms would basically come back in one turn cycle. If I do this, this lasts like three or four turn cycles. And then he'll, you know, get his arm back. And then I can just kill it all over again. The only thing that I'll have to do is kind of time out the hits. And when the arm's going to come back. Because obviously... If I need it, if his arm comes back and he does his double attack right away on accident, I'll need to have Robo right away here to heal, unless, you know, I want to die. And see, like right here, that was like a great example, is I just rapid fisted his arm, but right after, without uh, Chrono and Frog attacking, he got one of his attacks off. So I'm, I really gotta try to avoid that, but you see here, uh, the arm is dead once again, so we can continue to just kind of... Uh, Found the crap out of his face, and it should be good enough. Um, I don't know how much damage I've done to him so far, but we've got to be at least above half. And then during all of this, while attacking his body, I've also got, uh, obviously, Chrono. He has that uh, accessory for him to, um, 
counterattack. So that'll be slowly counterattacking his arm at the same time. So, you know, if I do need to kill that armor, if I feel like doing it, it will be lower on health because it did get countered a few times. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, that arm is no use to me. I'm just going to keep trying and attacking his body. Specifically with, with uh, Robo's Rapid. Like I kept saying, that thing is, does a crazy amount of damage. Like 800 damage, that's highest we have in the game so far. I don't think Magic or even Chrono with Cleave can do that yet. And then I already stated Frog is definitely very weak. He can still do like 400, but um, definitely the weakest of, the guy, uh, of all my people. But I do like Frog a lot, you know, as a character, so I'm not gonna judge too harshly. Um, here comes his arm back once again. Gonna quickly, quickly, quickly get rid of his arm. I don't want him doing that double attack unless. Okay, so it's good. His right arm did another 250 heal. That's better than him doing his really, really big attack. So honestly, that works for me. All right, there goes his arm. He didn't have a chance to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and keep focusing on the middle of the body, and he should be good. He's gotta be pretty close to death, especially I've, I've countered Robo's Rapid Fists. Yeah, I think that... Ooh, there we go. Looks like we killed him. Let's go, dude. That took... Uh, many, many, many tries. Um, there we go, 3000 XP. 3000 and Angular Frenzy, Proximity Bomb. Frog's level increased, cool. Man, that took a while. Sir Melkor? Indeed, I am none other. But how do you know my name? I do not believe we've met. More pressingly, what of the Queen and the Ocean Palace? Do you know what has happened? I see. The Queen's mind has already eroded to that extent. It seems the more energy the Mammoth Machine absorbs, the further the Queen descends into madness. The immortal Lavos is overtaking our soul from within the slumber beneath the waves. We must flee. The seal is broken. It will bring down the mountain. Come, make haste. The mountain of woe. Mama, the mountain's falling. Ooh, it's coming. To, it's crashing down, boys. No. It's the opposite. It's going up. Maybe? No, it is going down. Okay. Lavo sleeps deep underground, consuming the energy of this planet. Brought so near, the Mamma machine could very well awaken him. We must hurry before it is too late. Lady Shala is here. What? Shala? Lady Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Do not degrade yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are now puppets of Lavos. Such a filthy place. Melkor, when the mountain fell, I knew I would find you here. But is it safe for you to leave the palace? Whether it is safe or not no longer matters. The ocean palace is complete. Then all is lost. Not all. Without me, the Mammon Machine is no more than a vessel. I will not activate that evil thing. I've kept the Skyway open. Please, you must stop my Lady Mother. Tsk, tsk, my dear. Dalton, it would be quite an inconvenience if you failed to activate the machine. Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the fossil speaks. Be silent. Arg. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Cause any trouble in your life as well? I will bear no responsibilities. Shala. None of the Queen's brats know their place, do they? 
Oh, let's not be hasty. I'd be more than happy to take the life of this little pearl. I do not fear the queen. Shall we be on our way, Shotla dear? Your mother is waiting. Flash banged everyone in the room. Oh, okay. We're back. Melkor. I am alright. But we must rescue Shala or there will be terrible consequences. There's no hope of rescuing her, not even for you, Melkor. If the Queen's plans come to fruition, there's no hope for life as we know it. You... you would go and stop her? My pardons, you risk your life for us time and time again. I do not even know your names. You have already helped us. Now we are returning the favor. Whatever are you talking about? Chrono, let us make haste. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same redstone as the Mammon machine. With it, you should be able to destroy the thing for good. Ruby knife. Okay. Cool. Can we equip the ruby knife? To anyone? No, probably not him. Okay, so it's probably just an item that I, I can use to destroy it. Okay. Climb all the way to the top. And we bought most of the good stuff from here, so we're not going to really need anything as far as the shops go. Plus, they'll have better stuff at Zeal, which I'm guessing is where I'm headed, so. If I go this way, let's see, I don't go to the Epoch. Yeah, I think just going straight up would be the best. Um, let's go shelter here. Let's go to shelter and also put it in safe. There we go. And let's go, let's see what's here. I'm gonna go rescue the queen, so I go land bridge, go back up, go back down, and I'm gonna go back up one more time. And up we go. Alright, now, I don't know where we're gonna be able to find Queen Shala. She might be at the top over there. Before we do, let's just do a little bit of exploring here. That pendant you carry, is that Shala's pendant? Yes. I have no love for liars. Bro, what you mean? I wonder if I can re-talk to him. That pendant you carry, is that Shala's pendant? No. Welcome. Okay, I can buy stuff. Okay. Oh man, this stuff is better than what we have. And we bought a bunch of stuff last time. I guess I should have waited a tiny bit. Okay, so... We could buy one of those. Maybe I just won't buy anything. I think, you know what, for now I'm fine. Maybe we'll wait until the next upgrade cycle to actually do anything. And I will have to probably farm... Um, farm a little bit more more cash before um, I can do that okay guys so real quick um, I don't usually do this but I know there are many things um, with this place that I'm not gonna be able to do later in the game because something happened so I'm gonna make sure I'm just gonna quickly run around and make sure everything is done okay guys so I know we can get something if we do these books in the right order so we need water, wind, and fire. That's water. Wind? Is that wind? Where's the last book? This? Fire? Yes, water, wind, fire. Perfect. And if we go over here? What does this guy tell us? The guru reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? Yes. Alright, prepare yourselves. Oh, okay. What is this? Strike. Let's do a heal beam here. The heal beam will get a, get us out of death range at least. Don't kill him right away. That'd be very scummy. Will this kill him? That will kill him. Okay, cool. So we just gotta keep ourselves kind of in healed range here. And we should be solid. Let's do a water. We just need to go ahead and uh, quickly do some of these attacks. Let's do a frenzy on another one. Go ahead and do that again. And now they are only doing one HP. Let's go ahead and do a rapid fire on one of these guys, which should kill him. Ooh, he's dead. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, that brings us all down to one again. Hopefully, this will maybe kill at least one of them here. Because I need them to stop attacking me. 
Wait, this will definitely kill this one here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna hope they don't attack Frog. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. And Aerial Strike that one. And they sh this one's for sure dead because he just got frenzied. Just don't attack Frog and we're literally solid. But it looks like we got him here. Okay. And this guy got hit by water a couple times, so he shouldn't have that much HP left. Looks like he still has a little bit. That should take care of him, though. There we go. Okay. You're strong. Take this. Okay, magic capsule, speed capsule. Okay. So we got a few... A few tabs out of it. Mystery of life. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth because I believe it... At least for the present. Who is this new guy? Why is he... That's weird. Okay. Anyway, that is all we have to do at Anhasa. Let's continue on to uh, Kajar. Okay, so real quick, what we have to do, we have to head to the Zeal Palace. I need to talk to one girl about a sapling, which will unlock a side quest. I need to talk to another person about an itch that a new has, so then I can get tabs from that. So first we go to the Palace of Zeal, and then... And then we actually go to... Oh, I didn't mean to step in that. And then we go to Kajar. I think that's the sapling girl right there, so I need to get to her. Yes, you. Do you like plants? Yes. Oh, I love them too. But the queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the guru of life. He said it was a special tree. Powers to restore the earth. What shall I do? Grow it. Grow it in secret. You're right. Queen's orders, though, they may... it wouldn't do it. But to get from the guru of life. Very well, then I'll care for it somewhere safe. Someday it will help someone else who loves earth and trees. Okay, perfect. So, that's good. We did the sapling side quest. Now I have to talk to a guy about a news itch. Do I have to talk to this guy? Itchy, could you scratch my back? Sure. Oh, wonderful. Oh, right there, you got it. Ah. Uh, phew, thank you. Oh, discover the new scratching spot. Okay. Okay, so we learned the scratching spot. Now we can go back to Kajar. Okay, so here we have to talk to... We already talked to that guy. We're gonna have to do the whole book thing again. Why is there... Why is there... Why what is that doing up there? Will we talk to this guy? Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Phew. Scratch, scratch. Teehee. Obtain magic capsule. Okay, um, weird. Do we get another thing? Okay, so we earned one magic capsule. What about this guy? Okay, so, fair enough, got a magic capsule. Okay, so we have this thing again, so this one's the wind. We, we need to close that book. We need water first. This water? No, this is fire. Okay, so this one, water, then we need wind, so next would be this one, and then we need fire, there we go, and a secret place, obtained an end of, I can't say a word, but inside is a black gemstone, okay. It all began eons ago when man's ancestors stumbled upon a shard of stranger rock. His powers was beyond human comprehension. Only time will see how it ends. Okay. Now, what's this black stone we just got? There's only one more thing. There should be two tabs in this place. Like, one right there. Oh, there it is. The speed capsule. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I can grab that from there. That's what I thought. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we scratched the new. We got all of the tabs. I think we are good. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Now we can finally continue because those are all of the little side quests. I wanted to make sure to do everything in specifically zeal for a reason that um, you guys will find out in a little while. I'm not going to do any spoilers, but I, it, it was pretty important to make sure to do this stuff now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get back to zeal. All right, guys, so we're here. And I think I'm going to end today's episode off here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it supports our channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.